Freed line also probably gonna see some AT guns up on the right side here in this little hamlet with a garrison. That's a very popular spot. If you remember back a couple weeks in squad line battles, I believe Core Gold Dragon had a really nice kill uh, with an AT gun onto a 76 that was watching on the backside here. Uh, another story, of course, while Hurricane Forest isn't as strong as maps like St. Mary Glees or uh, Foy, some of the open maps, the 76s are still going to come into play, and we'll see if the the Greyhounds were able to get those 76s uh, together, maybe stacked. Uh, as both teams come for the rollout here, you can see Greyhounds attacking squads, pushing straight up the mid, going to try to beat the Artie. Ooh, don't hear any already coming in. Let's go on board with them as they jump out and try to get maximum amount of OPs up. Great deploy from them. Going to be in a really nice spot here. Need to watch out, though. That already has to be coming in very, very soon. Right up to the point here. Wow, super aggressive opening from the Greyhounds here. Love to see it, though. However, a little nicer of a, a quicker of a deploy. Initially looking like coming from the Blacklist side. But the Greyhounds do have the strong point for now. Now you can see the ARC squads on the south side here deploying. Now this is going to be a big fight for point. Uh, first off, a lot less. Members of the Greyhounds here in the strong point. Stewart is pulling up though. Could be a big play for this Stewart onto point here. He pulls right up into the ditch. See if he can get any kills here before getting taken out. Now, Cal does have the AT on the right side. That's going to be a key, key piece of equipment that he needs to take the bear on this steward. No! Okay, so one rocket goes down. Ooh, that was a little close there. Uh, still, a lot of pressure being put on point here from the steward. Has to fall back, unfortunately. Uh, Belos is still up. You have another Gecko squad leader left side. Der Hotman also in the mix here on point. However, really nice push here from the Blacklist, able to get some more bodies into that strong point and start the cap. Now, if we look down south here, lots of effort being put into a flank here from the Greyhounds. Wow, already devastating. Tank shots coming in too. We'll see if this squad from uh, Kieran Snice, or since and uh, Colonel can do something. Maybe take out the OP here on the south side. This is going to be crucial. No, Grim and QQ doing a lot of work, getting some kills there. Rude is left kind of alone in, in no man's land. Vazlov also pushing up, looking to get OPs up. Now the Greyhounds have done a very good job on point. You can see they have cleared out almost the whole point. Only Blee Hat is left. Their hot man doing a good job working around the backside on the flank, clearing out most of the bodies on point. He does get dropped though as the respawns come in from the blacklist wow really big fight over point here you can see how aggressive the axes are unfortunately for their uh for the supply drop that goes tumbling down the hill there uh they're not going to be able to get that gary up on the top of the hill if they do take this little hamlet um but i do love look at the arty it's just devastating on the backside here now there are a lot of uh, reinforcements coming for both sides. Kind of the second stage of this attack here. Uh, now, luckily for the Blacklist, they have main ca maintained control of the Hamlet here. They need to do that to hold uh, 116 up on this. Now, 116 is making some cap progress, though. Look at all those bodies near the strong point and also uh, to the north of it. Lots and lots of bodies here. Really, the, the Blacklist needs to uh, try to get some more bodies a little closer to the point. However, they're having to contest heavily. You can see smoke coming out. Those shots and the machine guns from the backside. Uh, tanks just wreaking havoc onto the reinforcements coming in. And that's one of the negatives here on the German side. It's so hard to get back to point. The, the forest is completely barren. It's open. It's very easy to see infantry running against that dark charred silhouette of the burned out forest. Now, what, what can they do here? What can Blacklist do to get back into point? It's going to be even harder now. Look at that north push by Gecko Squad, doing a lot of nice uh, positioning. Also, Hannibal in the mix there. you be able to stop the reinforcements from the Blacklist from coming in from the north side. And it looks like Greyhounds might have just taken this one on Siegfried Line. Wow. Really nice opening, consistent pressure, and consistent respawns coming in here uh, from the Greyhounds. Gonna let them cap the first point here and go up 3-2 in this match. Nice opening.
also greyhounds making a lot of progress here on the south side that already barrage has not let up they're now very very close here uh however still blacklist maintain their ops on the back side since and colonel need to kind of flank around here qq goes down from that already to try and get those ops down and, and there you go the first point has been capped three two four the D greyhounds on the allies side Starting this one off with a, uh, a positive note. On a positive note, yeah. Blacklist just doesn't get enough bodies to point there uh, to really dominate the strong point. And then the reinforcements just get absolutely devastated by those tanks on the backside. Now let's shift over to Jacob's Barn here and see how the defense is shaping up. If there's any attacks uh, coming out soon, you can see Navy SEALs commander of the Axis team there, Axis in orange of the blacklist checking out the map no really only gary is getting set up with grass how looks like the uh, uh the greyhounds are just gonna lock down siegfried line push as far as they can secure the sector here before worrying about jacob's run while also setting up on the backside here for grass how look for a quick uh 5-0 after they push for jacob i like that uh, no imminent threat though on the next point. It's all kind of still fighting over the Siegfried line. A lot of work to be done here um, as the the, uh, the blacklist tenaciously fight for this midpoint. Now there is a little bit of a uh, was that a Lux? Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna have Takugawa, Aerobase, and Spartan 117. Uh, that Lux is taking some shots though. There is still a Stewart alive from somewhere. Yeah, you can see him there on the street. And he is shelling the Lux. Uh, Lux doing some doing some work here, putting some fire onto the point. However, now he's currently being shelled by two uh, tanks, it looks like. We also might have another tank fight going off. Checking them out quickly to see. Yeah, we can see the two allied tanks here. Going to be a Sherman and a Lux. Or sorry, a Stewart. However... That consistent cap pressure from the blacklist is yielding results. Look at that little cap progress peaking up. Uh, went about to 10, 10% now and climbing. That is just sector cap progress here. You can see on the north side, Ren, uh, Mortec, Naki, Ice. Ooh, even some more. SKZ getting involved in this one on the back side. Looking to put a lot of pressure down. And actually, Mortec, ooh, almost gets another rocket off onto that uh, Stewart. Not quite, though. That cap progress has stalled uh, as the reinforcements, obviously, the spawns come in from the Greyhounds here on the defensive. Strong push looking to be coming out on the north side of the point. Not really anything in the middle. It's, it's so hard in that middle middle part of the point. You're just getting smoked by, uh, by tanks all the time. Now, hold the phone there. That Stewart might be losing his battle versus Lux. Stewart is in trouble. Off him, man, and uh, Black Shuda. Let's see this little uh, light tank fight develop. Ooh! <laughs> well, what the Lux didn't count on was the Sherman helping a buddy out. And uh, that's going to spell the end for the Lux there. A little pressure relieved on the backside. That, that Lux was shooting HEs into the, kind of the side of the cap there for the Greyhounds. Uh, nothing they can't deal with, though. But this attack from the north is looking rather dangerous from the Blacklist. Uh, they've cleared out a whole squad. Actually, bombing run coming down, too. Not too many bodies on point here. Chris is going to run for his life. Oh, he survives. Oh, I spoke too soon. He does not. Uh, two bodies dropped with that bombing run. And now, you can see an influx of troops. Hopefully, trying to get to point here. Uh, unfortunately for the Blacklist attackers, they failed to clear out the spawn. The OP in the middle there, they're going to need to clear that out when they want to, uh, if they want to really attack the point successfully. Uh, Kissy Dub pushing point though. Oh no, that already just absolutely wrecked him. He might have been able to actually get that OP too on the backside. That's really unlucky there for Kissy. Still though, attack threatening from the north east, eastern side here. Uh, Hannibal and Alex both spawning in. Bodorok also. Key kill there onto Moosinen. You can see that OP remains up. No, no grenades, no, uh, no push coming straight down this little ravine to, to take it out. Um, as long as Hannibal's alive too, it won't really matter. Now Hannibal is pushing here. Could be a little dangerous. He does clap Kappa. Go on board with Hannibal here as he makes his little flank around to the left side, trying to get maybe a, a flanking position onto this uh, bunker. 
to successfully overrun the OP. Maybe going to rotate his OP a little bit. Yeah, looks like he is. Uh, taking it out of that dangerous spot, rotating into somewhere it's a little more, uh, you know, in cover and, and potentially trying to outflank this, this attacking, sorry, attacking force for the Blacklist. Now, Ice pushing straight down to that OP. Oh, no. Animal's going to notice one. Potatoes a few shots here onto Villaret. Ice reacting to that contact. I don't think Ice has been able to clear that OP just yet. Hard to see inside the... Uh, inside the trees. Ice. Yes, he just dropped a kill. Now, can he get this OP? Oh, it's so close. It's right behind him. That's a big play right here for Ice. He does. He clears the OP out and gets the kill. That is going to expose the northern flank here of the, uh, sorry, of the Greyhound. Uh, a little bit, you know, there still is those tanks on the backside, though, that can just hammer with AG. Now, if we look at the south side of the map and get a little higher above the battle here, you can see the Greyhounds have smashed that position on the south and are now pushing past it here. So that's key. They've got south control here. I'm a little more worried about the north side, though. Look how close these squads are getting to point. Now that that defensive squad has been, uh, the OP is being crushed. There is a recon plane coming up, possibly a defensive uh, RD action here from the from the Greyhound. Clowns pushing. One OP goes down there from Chris. I don't know if they were able to get the second. No, Clowns on the right side, not able to get that second OP. Moosin in gonna clap Chris there on point. That's one less squad leader, one less OP there. Still Wobby defending on the backside. Still one OP up on the backside of point here. And also that uh, Stewart is there too. Elo's going to get a kill there for the Greyhounds before he gets dropped. Still only, it's about a 3, 4v3 here on point. No squad leads in close to get any kind of really optimal attacking OPs up. Uh, for the time being, really not a, a crazy threat. There is cap progress coming out, but the the strong point is, is should be fairly easily defended here. Is the bombing run going to come through? Only get one kill on the initial salvo. Two, three kills. Airhead off of this too. Wow, super aggressive airhead play. I love, I love this play coming in. And uh, the Greyhounds have to be really careful here. Really, really careful. Need to push this Stewart up and try and take out this airhead. I don't know if they know where that airhead is though. And on the back side, is there anybody to cover it? KSI or KC Dub is the only one on point here. Let's check the map really quick. No marker for the airhead. Alex might be able to get it. Oh, looks like it's already down. Apologies. I thought that was a stump was the airhead. I'm tripping. All right, so airhead goes down. Not a huge threat. Uh, Villaret on the left flank of that two. We're going to put one rocket into its side there. Also overrunning that OP in the back side. Now, the cap progress is being crushed here by the Greyhound. However, they have lost quite a few OPs here. Bulo's going to be looking to get that OP back up in, in quick time fashion. KSI Dub also, sorry, KC Dub also looking for the uh, the satchel. Oh, oh, man, that was a nice little Tokyo drift there uh, from Blackshooter and Often Man to kill that satchel boy. Now, here comes the secondary attack. You can see already is landing, killing one SL. Also, tanks are just doing a pounding here. Uh, these, these, these SLs, these... You know, they're not able to get close to point with OPs that really allow for quick respawns onto the strong point. Uh, Greyhound's doing just enough to keep them out. Oh, the tank is absolutely crushing this attack along with the RD. Now, let's take a look at the map really quick to see what the Greyhounds are doing to attack. So they have Grasshow approach. Uh, Gary's up also on the north side. They're going for some more Gary's with three OPs. You can see Recon harassing on the back side there. His squad pushing for Artie. Uh, no harassment here on the Greyhound side. There is a mechanized vehicle, light vehicle mark, but two tubes remain up with Commander defending. Um, you see this allied side garrison going to be going up here to attack Jacob Jacob's Barn with Wonder Bro uh, and Maynard possibly going for a, uh, a flank from the backside. Uh, back into the fight. More cap progress coming out. However, it's not super dangerous. OD, OD Panda is going to be the only one with an OP close. 
So while that remains up, rotations of six men will be able to challenge the strong point frequently here. However, you know, double their bodies in defense. It's going to be hard for this attacking squad, and especially with that arty. Oh, that arty is pounding the point uh, from the northeast, the avenue of attack here for the blacklist. It's going to be very hard to, to keep this progress up. You'll see it drop uh, as the kills come out for the Greyhounds here. Now, Clowns, Odie Panda. Clowns with a nice kill onto that uh, OP. Also, did Black Shooter die there? No, he got back in. Okay. Clown's doing some work here in the trench. Let's go on board with him and uh, see what his POV is here. He's going to be doing some nice work preventing the Greyhounds from getting back to point. With, with more than 50% cap progress, though, this is looking very good here. And Clown's with another OP take. Wow. Clowns with the place here on point, and suddenly the Greyhounds are looking like they're in a little bit of trouble here. Look at how big that sector deployment is from the Blacklist. It's huge. So while the Greyhounds might have the strong point, and you can see cap progress does fall there, the Blacklist are setting up for a really nice attack here. Now, if the Blacklist can take this little Hamlet with this Lux, kill Vazlov, kill uh, LP, kill Frankie, they might have a chance to take the strong point. They can pincer the strong point. However, uh, rotations coming out from the defenders, Hannibal, Oreg, Kale, Black Swan, going to be a lot of trouble for the attackers on the northeast side. I wonder if the Blacklist will kind of rotate back down. Now, there is also a tank up here for the German side. P4 coming in the mix. Let's see if we can spot out who it's fighting right now. Uh, we could check the map for you guys really quick here. Uh, so there's a Stuart on point and nothing on the backside except for an AC gun. Uh, there is a 76 pulling up, but he's going to be about 30 seconds. And there's also a 75 kind of hiding inside the room there, kind of maybe waiting for the 76 to pull up uh, too. Panzer 4 has got to be very careful though, this exposed position, um, that he doesn't get one, one tap clapped. Now, cap progress is lingering around the 20-30% mark, coming back up. Blacklist have cleaned that southern Hamlet there, so that's very key to their, their push here. Uh, they need to worry about that 76 next. It's going to be about getting AT guns up, about getting that P4 in a good hull down position where it can effectively uh, engage the 76 without getting any hull shots. That's the key. No hull shots here. Um, let's go on board with Fryle here as he pushes back down into point. He's going to be saturated with smoke here. Trying to get towards that strong point. Very hard from the backside here. He's just going to get picked off almost right away. Uh, we're going to rotate over to the south of the battlefield here. And uh, check out what's going on. So for now, the blacklist... Oh, sorry about that. We have some cap progress... Uh, on the fourth point here, both points seeing a little bit of cap progress. Look at this deployment, juicy deployment here from one squad, Wonder Bros squad of the Greyhounds, putting a lot of cap pressure on the backside here. Now there's nobody left on Jacob's barn. Let's take a look at the spawns. You can see multiple spawns up, two OPs, one Gary off of earlier supplies, Oreg and also Belos coming in and expect some huge rotation here uh, from the attackers. Now Navy Seals, what can he really do? He's running back to point, but he's gonna get clapped by so many members of the Greyhounds here. And, and the attack, are winning this cap race to about 50%, almost 48% to 30% here. Navy SEALs and the defenders have to do something quick. Otherwise, this is going to be over before it started. Look how many squad leads are out here for the Greyhounds. You got Maynard, Belos, Oreg, uh, Wonderbro also in the mix. Wonderbro going to clap Navy SEALs there as he pushes back to point. And I just don't know if there's anything that the Blacklist can do to hold this point. There's so, so many. Uh, members of 116th already on point, already poised. I mean, look, you're going to have three, uh, three, at least three OPs in proximity to point here. Now, the Blacklist are trying desperately to get back to point, but Ren is the only one with the, uh, uh, with the ability to drop down an OP. And you know what? He might even die before getting it. Let's go over to the north side of... Uh, the southwest side of Jacob's barn here. Ren pushing in close. 
Oh my gosh, all the pressure on this man's shoulders right now. 80, 85%. I think this is going to go 4-1. I don't think there's really a chance here for the Blacklist to stop this one. Yeah, this is definitely going to go 4-1 here as the Greyhounds with a surgical strike here get enough bodies on point to take this one 4-1. Now the Blacklists are in trouble. They tried. Tried to do a cap race there. Wasn't working. Now we also have critical step sector cap going on on the backside at Grouse Hill Approach. You remember that initial Gary that was set up on the north side here. It's been shifted a little bit further south, and there is already two squad leads in the strong point of Grouse Hill. Wow. 116th coming out to play today. Now the cap race starts off, but there's nobody here. There's nobody here from the blacklist to contest this. Gecko, third squad lead that's going to be in the strong point. And in just a matter of seconds, hopefully, hopefully the blacklist can rally the troops here and get enough bodies back to try and stop this onslaught from 116th. But they're already at 50% cap progress. Already at 50%. Wow. Navy SEALs desperately tries to get back here, dropping supplies to the southwest. However, you got Gecko over there. You got, you got Cav, Ari. Three more squad leads coming in. There is going to be five OPs up before the end of this game. Actually, I don't even think that they're going to be have a chance to get those OPs up. But there's going to be five OPs up on the strong point before this one's end. You can see a airhead dropping here. That is going to be an attacking airhead. And I think this is one's gonna go 5-0 before they even have a chance to defend it. Blacklist. Getting the wool kind of pulled over their eyes right here. Uh, 116th are showing up to play. And this game is gonna end 5-0 in, in a very quick fashion. As the Blacklist drop this one to the Greyhounds 5-0 here on Hurricane and Force. Wow. This was a crazy lightning fast attack here. Uh, absolutely dominating performance here for the Greyhounds. Wow. Uh, really, really hard one. Um, the mid cap would be lost if we just, uh, uh, if they had another five minutes, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, it was a coin flip. Uh, we won the coin flip. But uh, if they took this mid cap in when they pushed, uh, they would just steamrolled our side. So it was, yeah, it was a coin flip. Yeah, you guys looked like you had a really nice setup though. I saw how you did that on the north side. You got your, your initial setup on the last point and then you rotated back in, got everything for Jacob's Barn setup. Were you a little surprised that the that the, there wasn't a, a tougher defense on either point? Or did you you had faith in your recon and your, your attacking squads to just wipe all their Garys out? Well, uh, we always play kind of offensive in this uh, style with uh, solo squad leaders in the background, yeah, mm -hmm. and try to flip the game like we did today. Uh, most of the time, we, we can't make that because uh, uh, they have a good defense. Be uh, but today, uh, I guess uh, they just put all in offense on our mid cap, and it was lucky that our guys, uh, well, yeah. get in the fourth cap you, you say it's luck but honestly your, your guys were doing a really good job on defense whenever they pressured the strong cap even though they had the 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 other pressure from the the sector your guys were pretty good at going in and clearing them out uh every every spawn wave you guys would push back in also i think your your 75 was doing a lot of work with your artillery and stopping them from being able to push down the hill they really couldn't get to the point from the middle uh they had to push to the north or to the south and, and once you guys took the south i know they pushed back again at the end of the game they tried to do a cap race with you guys but i, I don't think it's as close as you say i think it was a, a little a little further away maybe a, a 60 40 in terms of the coin flip but uh no you, you credit to your tankers they did a lot of work today um uh, well, on the point from from my point of view uh, it was just i'm looking on the map and uh we get uh, capped every time like uh every uh, 30 seconds uh and um, we had just uh, infantry in the south. We yeah. never got control in the north. Uh, northeast was horrible. We never could save that uh, bunker in the mm. northeast. Uh, and this is a really, really important checkpoint for uh, Siegfried line. Uh, and we couldn't cap that one. And I guess I'm pretty sure if they had five to ten minutes more, uh, they definitely would cap our mid cap. Uh, I'm 
pretty sure yeah yeah they they probably they, that's probably really true honestly because they made a really good push on the south like they were trying very hard to just push from the northeast on the bunker but they they failed three or four times with that now if they did it again with the south then yeah maybe there there's a chance for the cap there but also their tanks yeah. I mean, at, at that point, you were pulling up a 76 and you hadn't lost your 75 yet. You guys were building fuel. Um, your Stewart was still up from the start of the game there. So I don't think it was necessarily that that close to it because I think you could have easily rotated um, that Stewart and put it very aggressive on the defense and then also brought up the 76 and 75. Uh, and all they had mm. really was a Panzer IV. They didn't have any pack guns or anything there. So I don't think it was that dire really on the defensive. But uh, uh, did did anybody stand out for your team today? Uh, was there any really good performers you want to give a shout out to? Yeah, of course, the tankers in the early game uh, made a really, really good job. Uh, our South offensive uh, was was uh, a hard one to hold this checkpoint. Uh, Batslav did a great job on the South uh, because uh, there was a lot of artillery. Mm -hmm. I team killed them because I was on our artillery. <laughs> I saw <laughs> and was that shooting actually, as, yeah. <laughs> as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, our our uh, solo squad leaders who was in their backline uh, said really, really good outpost. Uh, that was the win condition we played for. Uh, yeah. yeah, of course. And our tankers uh, as well uh, was a really, really good job from them. They saved us the mid cap. Uh, yeah, honestly, yeah. No, that's very true. Uh, all those things really contributed to the win here. And and what does this say for the team going into the seasonal? Do you feel a lot more uh, comfortable with this kind of play from your team? Uh, well, today was a coin flip. Um, the you keep Black saying that. I don't, yeah. I don't feel like it was that close. Uh, um. It felt pretty, pretty close okay. from my point of view. Uh, I will rewatch the stream and uh, see probably it, it wasn't that close uh, that I mm -hmm. mean but uh it felt so yeah well um, i guess that's good too but i mean it, it looked fairly fairly straightforward for you guys um so i feel like it, it, you guys are going to be going on a pretty good high to the uh to your first match um do you guys have any more any other friendly schedule uh before the start uh, of the yeah we have okay. on sunday we play against 38 division uh, okay yeah uh, this also will german be a cup too one. right uh you're playing uh, yeah uh, german yeah. Well, i don't have really a clue what the german cup we are playing against uh, stdb next weekend okay on the 25th <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i signed up to better, cast that one I so i know i know um, for sure yeah. awesome. well we have a, a lot of training games so i don't really have uh, an overview uh basically every weekend two games um okay. until the seasonal starts I can check what's playing next. I guess STB next week. I'm not That's sure if we a have a second game. match. I can't wait to watch yeah. that one. <laughs> or cast well, it. Uh, I did, I did second division tomorrow. Uh, and on the f 4th of March, we play against uh, 91 and uh, GR3 in the German Cup. Where, uh, we already played last week against them. 82nd and... tomorrow is going to be a hard match too. Uh, for you guys, for sure. Yeah, on for sure. Sunday, Sunday, on Sunday. Sunday, okay. So, yeah. Awesome. It will be a hard match. Always our matches between us and the uh, 82nd is always a, a horrible, a horror story. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> always uh, 90 minutes uh, poor sweating. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really hard. Awesome. Ones. Well, I want to thank you and congratulate you on the win, the quick win here. Uh, it didn't look like a coin toss, but uh, I'll trust your word on that one for it. Um, and good luck, I guess, uh, this weekend in, in going into the season. I can't wait to see that uh, 82nd AD match, so that's going to be yeah. a good one. Appreciate it. And uh, sorry for my bad English. <laughs> no, you're fine, man. Nice I don't, one. I don't uh, know what you no, were. Not really. You gonna send me the gulag now for 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 calling you for an interview? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. See yeah. ya. All right. All right. I, I saw you there on the attack. Uh, you want to just kind of give me your perspective of what happened during the match? Yeah, of course. Uh, like we we did a really good start, mm. and uh, we were like uh, um, trying to to keep the uh, the um, most people possible in in the the four squares to keep capping and uh it was really um really hard we we fight a lot and uh, many times we almost cap the points but uh, mid, in the meanwhile they um they sent uh two uh, squad leader i yeah. i think and we didn't saw them and none of our garnison ping it okay so we had no idea they were there and at and once they started capping, our defense had no clue that they were spawning so um, 
uh, like with so many people. Yeah, they're still uh, very close in. Uh, they got their Garys. So they got initial Garys set up on the back line on your your last point. And then they got some yeah. Garys. They, they rotated back to your fourth point, got some Garys up. And they, no, it, it's, uh, it, it was a really, it was really, really, really good played by them. Yeah, it was a fast, like we'd, we'd, fast attack yeah. for sure. Um, we you, didn't see them coming. Yeah. Really. Did you guys have trouble? I noticed that you were get, you were getting killed by artillery a lot, obviously, um, but also yeah. by the tanks. The tanks were just like hammering you guys, and and I noticed you had success to the northeast of the point, um, and you didn't. You you lost the south kind of end of the point there, but at the end you were taking it back. Uh, mm -hmm. Kyle said that if you guys had five more minutes, you probably would have flipped that. Is that the feeling from you guys too? Do you think you were really close to to taking that? Yeah, point? yeah. We were we were like even in the chat we were saying like uh, keep like this. We are we're going to cap these points. And uh, yeah, it was the, from the tank for the tanks. It was really difficult because the point, like the, the how you say, like the, how the map is designed. Yeah, it's a, very easy a, for them. Yeah, they have a really good view on. Like last week, we were we were on US side, and our tanks did a really, <laughs> really good good work on them on the enemy because uh, you really really see them really, really good with the tanks. And uh, yes, uh, it was difficult, but they had a tank on the strong point as well. Yeah, and we, yeah, yeah. We struggled. We struggled to you, to kill it. You almost got it. It was the Stuart from Offenman and Black Shuta. They were there. Yeah. They were putting in uh, work. Uh, it, they, they had a really fast deployment um, onto the point. They got their OPs behind the big bunker on Siegfried, and then they were, they brought that Stuart up and were able to to successfully use that uh, against you guys. Um, do you think that uh, I noticed one thing though? Do you, do you think it's mm -hmm. uh, it, it, you can get that point on Siegfried line by just pushing through the middle there, or do you have to take the north and the south side in because the tanks seem to be so uh, deadly when you try to push? From the top of the hill there i depend like uh, our goal is to have the most people in the four squares as i said yeah. but yeah we have i think we you really have to to control as well the north side or the south side but you have to to go around them like uh surround them mm -hmm. to to be able to take but it was really difficult with the tanks as mm -hmm. you said did you guys uh, plan because, to build uh, AT guns to deal with those tanks? Did you have those in the plan, and did they just get taken yes, out? Yes, we had, but the problem you you don't have the time to build them. Because yeah. Because as soon as you as a tank see you, like you like uh, like ants, they yeah. see you like ants. You, you just move a bit and they see you. So you, yeah, it's really difficult to attack uh, from a uh, X side X side on this point. Yeah, yeah. But, Do you think? But, but if you get in the hard cap, then mm -hmm. you can cap it. Yeah. Do you think that uh, maybe just uh, there needs to be some more AT gun spots, like to have some specific peaks onto these points? Is that the solution? Because it seems like all the problems are coming kind of from those 75. They didn't even have 76 really, uh, 75 shooting on the backside, just able to kill your infantry as it pushed. Yeah, I, I think I think we, we could have cap even with the tanks. Okay. Uh, but... As I said, it's really difficult to put a, a, an AT, a, a AT gun without mm. them seeing you. Yeah, yeah. Because you have to put, uh, you have to be, um, you have to see the tanks, <laughs> of course. And uh, if if you see them, they see you. So it's yeah. difficult. No, for sure. It's, it's easier for uh, the US side to put AT guns on this map. Oh I yeah, said. especially yeah. on the point. I think North North Pass is pretty balanced, and so is the Scar. But Siegfried yeah. line seems to be very. Uh, very strong for the allies, especially if they can get that initial push out um, onto yeah, the they, point. They arrive, they arrive on point uh, before before Axe side, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, I but think... yeah, it was uh, as I said, uh, it was really balanced, mm -hmm. and we were confident in taking this point. And they did a really really good move, and they did they they got also a bit lucky, I would say, because we didn't had any of our garrison ping, so yeah. we didn't add the, the info that they were there, and then they. They were only two guys. Two guys that spawned uh, like twelve guys, I, I guess, and they took our point. Do you, you think that's but, something you gotta you gotta go watch back for the defense to figure out how they position themselves and how you guys can kind of react better? Because I was kind of surprised that there wasn't a, a massive uh, respawn back on the defense. Um, yeah. Do you think that's kind of a flaw in the strategy you guys had? Yeah, I think it's a uh, miscommunication, and also, um, as I said, as uh, since we didn't see any garrison ping. Yeah. They they were like the defense guys were were saying that yeah there are only two or three no problem mm -hmm. so we didn't have a, a clear clear call of redeploying in defense yeah 
but but we learned a lot on this match it was really fast but we learned that we have to be more careful and um like don't 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 uh, keep the attack if we are losing the points yeah it's better to it's better to go back and uh, make a, sure yeah, yeah. and uh defend and then we can still win but as as we did, we saw tonight, uh, we didn't react fa uh, fast enough, and we we lost really fast. Yeah. Um, one other thing. So, you guys, how, what kind of games do you have coming up uh, to prepare yourself for for your seasonal matches? Uh, uh, I will check. I'll tell you. Um, we have WTH on the twenty sixth. Ooh. Okay. WTH. That's gonna be a, a big uh, game too. What what map yeah, are you guys? Game. It's a foy. Foy. Oh um, my god. Yeah, oh, it will be a really good match. Yeah, and then we have eighty-two AD, and okay. uh, then ESPT. Okay, wow. And we 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 organized as well some scrims, uh, like eighteen versus eighteen to train infantry stuff like this. Okay, cool. So I really look forward to some of these matches, especially that WTH match in the eighty-second one. I think that's going to be a good match, and uh, hopefully you guys can kind of uh, figure out what the what went wrong today and come back uh, even stronger next time. Yeah, we as at the end of the match we watched the stream in live. Like uh, the 40, 50 players, we were watching what happened. Yeah, and so uh, we clearly see where where we failed, and we won't do it again. No, for uh, sure. Yeah, uh, thank you for coming to talk to me. I know. Uh, I, one more question though: you weren't playing RT today. Is that are you moving off of the RT, or are you just letting some other trial uh, trialists play uh, on there? The problem on the RT is that. Uh, I really like RT, but I think I'm more useful on uh, in squad leader and uh, okay. on the field. Uh, more, I'm more of a shooter than a RT guy, even if I really like RT. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, no worries. It I just on the maps. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was just my cur my own curiosity. Uh, uh, but I, I think I, I, I'm I feel more useful as squad leader than on RT. Okay. And uh, I teach like we I teach now, but we we want to have more guys be able to do RT uh mm -hmm. because it's not really difficult to learn yeah uh, and um it's really efficient yeah but we really we keep even if i'm not on the rt we keep we keep um reinforcing the rt as much as we can because even on, on a map like hergen it's really useful yeah and really strong no for sure for sure um i, I want to thank you for for Kind of taking the time to come speak to me today. Um, no problem. Thank you for the streaming. Yeah, no worries. And uh, good luck with you guys going forward.